in this very room where I presented my credential. Isn't that amazing? Mr. <laughs> President, thank you so much for having me. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm touched by your uh, inviting me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and, and we will talk about, about France and your experience of France, but the france ghanaian relations r lately, since 2017, have known a huge boom since uh, President Macron, Macron was the first French president to come. Is that when it actually started? No, I don't think so. I mean, the relations with France have been good for a long time, but obviously the arrival of the first sitting French president in our country was uh, definitely a milestone. Mm -hmm. And I was very privileged that this should have happened. And it happened in, uh, very early on in, 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 my, in my mandate that I was, I was the first Ghanaian president to welcome a sitting French president to Ghana was is a big, 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 I think, feather in my cap, and I, I enjoyed the experience very much. And Emmanuel Macron chose you then in 2019 for during your presidential visit to address the diaspora. Did you understand it the way that um, France wants to cooperate with Africa, precisely the way Ghana wants to cooperate with France? Uh, I, but I think that um, that has been at the centre of the relationship. Mm -hmm. um, and, it's, and, and it makes sense for both of us. Um, we are an English-speaking island. Yeah, indeed. Essentially a French yes. sea. Our western border, our eastern border, mm -hmm. our northern border are all French-speaking uh, countries. Official language is French. And we're right there in the middle. The, only, the south is the Atlantic. So uh, it makes a lot of sense for us to have a special relationship. France, so, so it's the reason, for instance, for our interest in La Francophonie. Mm -hmm. It makes a lot of geo uh, geopolitical sense for us in Ghana. These are our immediate neighbors. Mm. And uh, for us to be able to relate with them in a meaningful way, we ought to get beyond language. I'm a, uh, I must dislike intensely this francophone, anglophone, or these distinctions that they are mm -hmm. of language amongst us as Africans. We have all of us to be uh, ambidextrous. We should all be uh, polyglot. Poly and, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, uh, amongst, Which you already are, so well, somehow. But it, it should be, I shouldn't be an exception. It should be the population so yes. that we can deal with each other uh, easily Fluid, and directly fluently. for five years. Five years? As a young man, yeah. So when was that exactly? At the very beginning of the 1970s. I went to France in 1970, in the last year of Georges Pompidou's presidency. Right? Yes. That was my next question. So <laughs> I, I, I thought I would trick you with who was the president? Uh, yes. Know, Georges Pompidou. Yes. And um, um, I had, I mean, as a Ghanaian, who was educated in England, mm -hmm. uh, that had been the, the exposure, all the experience was uh, um, English related. And I thought I should have experience of another European civilization before finally coming back to Ghana. And so was it was a, a choice? It was a choice. Actually accumulating yeah. assets to, to, for this for, to make that, that experience. I come from a very political family. Yes. Uh, yes as, as I'm which sure surprised you know. me that you went to France in 1970, because actually the, the leader here, the head of state at that time was my father. Was your father? Uh, a little bit of also to escape all of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so, like we all do when yeah, we're young. Yes, yes. So when you arrive in France, did you know France before, or is it with yes, first visit? Yes, I'd, I'd been there a couple of times as, as, a, as a student in mm -hmm. in London. I'd gone like all of us do for every now and then for a weekend in Paris and all of that. Yeah. So I enjoyed the idea that um, oh, absolutely, you begin as a conseiller absolutely, juridic. that's it. And I began it in France. Right. Really an extraordinary experience for me because the firm was the main law firm for the major American companies that were doing business in Europe, mm -hmm. in France and in Europe. So you found that the big multinational the big multi American multinational companies, Ford, Lockheed, Bank of America, Citibank, all of these were clients of Couder. Mm -hmm. And it gave me a big insight into how those corporations work and the, the mindset that animates them. They also had important French, 
French French companies, especially those who had a lot of international exposure, like Marcel Dassault. Uh -huh. The French oh, yeah. aviation yes. company aviation, yes. was, a, was, a, was, a, was a client of Kubert's as and well. And uh, one of your clients was also a wine company, or is it? Uh, yes, it? yes, Lille. 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 Yeah. What, what strikes you the most when you very first, for the very first time, when you, you settled down in France, what was your, your biggest amazement compared to what you had lived uh, in Ghana, but also in, in England? In England. Oh, I mean, what, what, what is difficult to escape in Paris, in, in, in Paris of course, is, is the architecture, mm -hmm. the structure of the city, uh, the blend between the old and the new mm -hmm. is, is seamless in France. What did you take away from this experience in France? First of all, of course, from the work side, um, an understanding a little bit of the dynamics of international economic intercourse, um, the considerations that motivated the great companies of the world uh, in search of markets, in search of natural resources, how they thought and went about it, uh, was one very important. Uh, secondly, of course, being having exposure to French civilization and to be able to understand the dynamics of, 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 of the cultivation of France mm -hmm. was also, and of course, thirdly, the, the work of the, of the office was, uh, was advising uh, American, Anglo-Saxon clients, mm -hmm. if you like, Anglo-American clients in Paris. Yes. So it gave me an opportunity to get to know people from Mali. These were uh, quite well-known French law, uh, Francophone lawyers in Senegal and Côte d'Ivoire who became personal you. friends of mine as a result of uh, the stay in, 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 in Paris. Jean Gabrissengo, all of these people became very good friends of mine. And it helped. It helped in the reintegration in West Africa and also in being able to move around the area. Well, Karen, I'm talking about French. We, we certainly need a little sip of water. So we'll take just a very short break. And uh, don't go anywhere. We will be back. You will, uh, in the meantime, be able to look at the documentaries. We will Employees. Since 2003, the national working hours are 35 hours per week but are flexible when, in terms of how they are implicated. According to OECD, French work productivity is yet one of the highest in Europe. Lunch breaks can be business lunch, a sandwich in the office, a gathering at the office canteen, or a lunch at home. Some French companies provide lunch vouchers, which are particularly funded by their employees. Large companies have work councils, chaired by union members who manage funds provided by the company. They offer their employees and families vouchers or discounts for holidays, cinema, theater, and theme parks. Public policy requires companies to refund part of the cost of their employees' transportation. All employees enjoy five weeks paid holiday and a minimum of 11 bank holidays a year. Most offices, businesses, and shops in France close for a public holiday. However, some supermarkets and public services, like hospitals, remain open. All workers and employees contribute to a pension and the public bank for Parker. The France Ghana Chamber of Commerce supports French companies. So we can uh, participate actively in the economy of Ghana. Through the bilateral chamber, the bilaterality consists in obviously uh, being as active as possible in all sectors of the economy, so, so as to increase the foreign direct investment in the country and making sure that the French companies really understand what represents this market for them. There are a lot of opportunities, there are challenges as well, but the opportunities are good. It's a country which economy is, uh, is very stable. The, politics, the, the, the political environment, as we all know, is uh, one of the stablest in, uh, in Africa. And we do believe that it's a country in which uh, our French companies can, uh, can very safely invest. French companies in Ghana employ more than 30,000 Ghanaians and provide business to about 60,000 subcontractors. They contribute to industrialize the country and add values to the communities. French companies in Ghana have strong corporate social responsibility, policies that bring social and environmental value to their communities. They also implement strong health and security policy, HSE. 
to ensure companies have the best working conditions, such as cable mentor Nexons. So we are sitting here in this beautiful garden beautiful, because uh, because there's something that no one actually don't nothing. Burn you know, we, we we try to to keep our carbon footprint as low as we can. Mm -hmm. Now, planting trees, uh, the coastline of Tama was full of coconut trees. Mm -hmm. We lost that to erosion. You know, at uh, some stage, I was telling somebody, you know, like, uh, look, there used to be a lot of trees on the coastline, and I wish we can restore it. And, and then we said, actually, let's we go can. and do that. So we planted the first 500, and they survived. Oh, yes, and they went and planted another 500. So now we have a thousand trees. More to We will grow. have more and we will plant more and we will continue to plant until the end of time. In this beautiful garden I also have a wonderful tortoise. I think she's hiding. Well I say she, I don't know if it's he or she, but uh, she's, she's, she's a tortoise. Um, and I hear that you're doing a lot for tortoise, but the, the, the sea ones. Yes. What are you doing with them? Well, when we started uh, uh, the project, we realized that we have like a couple of kilometers that we will occupy. Actually, we will share that with the sea mammals mm -hmm. and turtles in, in particular. And uh, we put a team to study who comes there on that beach. And we realized that they don't just come to our beach, but they come along the coastline. Uh -huh. So we have commissioned and we, a team to go and walk on daily basis at various areas from our port all the way west to Pram Pram, Uningo, and see any sign of a nest and dig it and bring the nest to the hatchery and then control it to be hatched in uh -huh. a healthy way and in an equal gender so we have more female turtles into the sea and to, much to our surprise so you're nursing uh, turtles eggs and, nursing and turtle eggs in a nursery turtles. and releasing it to the wild securing their actually uh, 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 release into the wild and uh, the shocking statistics was that we so far released 16,000 turtles really? into the sea. Sixteen. From so that's more than would have actually um, been alive if they had stayed in the in the sand, right? Certainly, the the, the success rate probably 10%, uh, uh, oh, really? uh, 20% so in the wild. We had a success rate uh, more than 60 to 70%. The French Bank Société Economies. We support also the public and the private sector. We have been here, for example, financing the Volta River Authority. SMEs uh, are in the heart of our strategy. We are particularly supporting them in terms of financing. We have developed a partnership with Proparco, which is a private branch of uh, small scale companies. If I small scale companies. If I can tell about one major example we have supported recently is premium food uh, company which has been uh, commissioned by the, His Excellency the President uh, Nana Akufo Addo. We have recently sponsored uh, one of the major events on the SDG uh, program which is the country financing roadmap held also recently in June uh, in Ghana. Under our strategy on the SMEs we have developed in 2018-19, the SG Home of Business, which is an area dedicated for SMEs, clients or non-clients, providing free service for all the SMEs who want to get advice for free regarding a certain number of topics which are important for them, which could be linked to HR or accounting or strategy, business development, locally or internationally, all those advisory services have been built with 18 partners, public and private partners in Ghana to allow us giving this advisory and to help the growth of the economy by also uh, growing the awareness and the skills of our SMEs. Choose Africa is a French initiative implemented by Propaco, an institution part of the AEFD group in favor of SMEs and startups in Africa. 2.5 billion euros is scheduled to be invested with loans or equity in the year 2022. Many projects in Ghana have been supported. France 
through the French Employment Agency and its Project Migrations has set up in Ghana in order to allow all Ghanaians equal access to this legal professional mobility service free of charge. France works with new institution, state interest and government authority to implement public companies' good governances. MPS Terminal 3 is Africa's new state-of-the-art container terminal at Tema Port. For manufacturers, agro-processors and traders, the new port means business can be done faster. This infrastructure boost will improve Ghana's port handling capacity, connect more trading routes and oil the engine of growth for the economy, creating greater opportunities across all sectors as Africa's markets merge and become the largest trading bloc globally. MPS, we connect, you thrive. important. How can I convince the, the, the Ghanaian people that France, speaking French is important? A lot of it will always be a function of trade and increasingly, uh, especially with both the development of the community, the Air Force community, economic space, mm -hmm. trade liberalization, the customs union, and, and then now with the bigger one, the continental free trade area, which is going to then focus so much more on intra-regional trade. I think as a necessary consequence, mm -hmm. the language will have to be a determinant of that. and It will be a very important incident of our capacity to trade effectively. But as people say, quite rightly, quite rightly, we're having to forget both the French-speaking as well as the English-speaking people. We're having to forget both the French-speaking as well as the English-speaking people to be to be able to exchange direct information in the languages that they speak is going to be almost irresistible and so very important. Do you think you've, you will reach a point when you, when you apply to, in a company for a job, when you're looking for a job, uh, having French on your CV will be as, as crucial as having English on your CV when you apply to the job I think that, of course, as Ghana's export potential, capacity to export its products, especially mm -hmm. value-added products, increases and intensifies. Yes, um, the, the Ghanaian companies will be looking to populate the sales departments, the international sales departments, export departments with people who have the facility in the language. I can see that coming very easily. And, it, it's, and in, in any event, the greater the links, Mm. The, the, the stronger the integration, and you're talking about links of language, of culture, of blood, all these are very important links mm. that, that enable people to be able to find uh, the, the living in the same space. And how easy was it for you to, to, to learn French? You're living in a country. Mm -hmm. Your friends are all from there. You live within uh, French social circles. In six months of being in Paris, I could make myself understood and I could also follow serious conversations in the language and it, 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 it grew from there. Well, that's quite uh, one amazing. One or two French that's quite people amazing. of your, how do I put it, gender, do I say? Women. Or, or, yes. Oh, yes, this kind, of, <laughs> this kind of teaching, I see, I see. Yes, yes. Okay. It helps. Oh, it helps, yeah, certainly, yes, that's probably the, the, the well, they yeah, say French yeah. is a language of love, so indeed well, that's probably the best way to learn. Okay, so, well, but this is a different vocabulary than the business vocabulary, of course, yeah, so it's, it widens the prospect. Oh, I, I, I get that, but then, okay, so that might be the reason why I haven't caught any tree yet. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but more seriously, I, I realize that every Ghanaians I've met who speak French speak perfect French. Um, and most of the French who try and learn other languages are not so good So uh, at other languages. Uh, would you say that because you speak so many local languages which are actually 
languages, with their grammar, with their different vocabulary, the brain is probably more sponges to catch up and pick up different languages. I mean, yes, I, I have no doubt that the, 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 the historical and cultural context for us as Ghanaian, obviously in the house, that's also the language of the, so that the, the, you find lots and lots and lots of Ghanaians who are automatically polyglot. As a foreigner, that's one of the magic of this country is that you have managed to keep all your differences, all your specificities, as the, this beautiful patchwork languages, traditions, culture, and yet unite as a country. Yes, and that is amazing. And of course, the welcoming of the Ghanaian people. I ex experience it every day. And because they shared so much with me, that's what the whole show was also about, trying to share back and give a bit about the, the, the French uh, culture, lift a, a little corner of a curtain about the French okay. culture. I'm sure you know the Marseillaise, the French yes, national anthem. Okay, yes, yes, I do. So I don't want, I, I'm not asking you to sing it because your team <laughs> would, would obviously um, <laughs> shoot me, I, and I, I know yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. ready to do so. <laughs> but so, my question is, um, would you know what the, the Ghanaian anthem, the first words, would be in French? God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make her greater so. Que Dieu bénisse notre patrie, le Ghana, et il rend uh, notre nation grande et forte. Et forte. Quelque chose comme ça. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and your anthem is full of hope. Our was obviously a war song ours a revolutionary, a revolutionary song, song. Yeah. so what would for our viewers be allons enfants de la patrie le jour de gloire est arrivé what would that be in in, in yeah. english or in tree whatever but you know <laughs> how in english yeah arise children of the fatherland our day of glory is at hand or near has arrived yes yeah. absolutely yeah. well then the rest is much is more bloody yeah. kind of yeah it's, it's very it's, it's, a, it's a war it's, it's a war no but it's, 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 it's but at the same time it's very inspiring it's uh, uh you, well you i like hear. the tune i like the yeah, tune the we've, tune is excellent we've had debates about changing the words the but language. i like the tune yeah. and i must say hearing your personal national anthem played when you are overseas is always a, a yes, very yes, emotional Mr. moment. Yes, it is indeed. It is. Thank you so much, Mr. Mr. President. Thank Merci thank infiniment. Merci beaucoup pour l'invitation. Thank you. Thanks yes. for talking to me. Meda c'est pas. That's still the, lo the, the most I know thank about you. Tree. Thank you very, very thank much. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it very much. Merci. And thanks for playing the game. Okay. Dear viewers, uh, stay with us because we will have the quiz that you all wait about and I'm not having the quiz with Mr. President because he will know the answer and he will give it away so we will have it afterwards after the break please stay with us okay, that uh, going to have an experience in France was an amazing asset for the rest of his career it taught him French. It was also an experience to get to know multilateral relations and all sorts of countries that actually gather in Paris. So you may wonder, what does it take to go and work in France? If you have a business and you want to uh, export to France, if you want to develop in France, how can you do? Let me ask our economic attaché, Olivier. Olivier, you work with the embassy? Yes, I do. French Chamber of Commerce here in Vienna, in Accra. It's actually French Ghanaian, actually, exactly. right? Exactly, French Ghanaian. So they can help both French company to settle down here in Accra and Ghanaian company to go to France, to know the market, to know what kind of product they could put then. Okay, is it easy? What, what does it take? I mean, when you arrive in France, if you want to thrive in France, are there areas where they would have more chances to uh, improve and to make a, a success? In fact, the French are very fond of... Uh, African product. You know, if you go to Paris, you can see many people using French uh, African food, using uh, African uh, textile and clothes. We like wax. Do we like wax? Of course, not wax, but also uh, every textile which are made here in, in Accra. So, uh, if, you, if you want to settle down in, in, in France and to, to find uh, the good market, first of all, just get in touch with people who are already 
here in France, and they could give you the good advice and the good product to, to, to send Is there. it important to know how to pitch your product? Yes, of course, but uh, as I said previously, the, the, the French Chamber of Commerce should tell you, well, you know, the, we, we have not uh, some kind of product this way. Just try to test your own product there. Okay. And um, so I, I've, I'm very often asked about the question of ask, but if you are a talented Ghanaian, like an engineer or someone with a very dedicated skill, is there a space or a, a dedicated path to go to France? Yes, yeah, yeah, you've got a special uh, way to, uh, to go there. You, you come to the embassy and you will have uh, some advice to go there. Yes, of course. Are you the right contact? Yes, I am, but uh, the, the, the persons and to do this kind of thing is the, the French Chamber of Commerce. Just do that. We've yeah. got the... the yeah. And you would like some, maybe to increase your capital and, and you need equity or you need a loan. Who should you contact? Yes, on the financial side of the, this kind of stuff, you must go to the French Agents of Développement, Agence Française de Développement, or and inside the French Agents of Développement, you must go to Propaco, which is the, the, the subsidiary of uh, the French Agence of Development dedicated to financing SMEs here in Ghana. And there are the people who can tell you, well, how could you uh, just pitch your, your project and then we can have advice to you to how to develop it or we can try the way to finance it both directly and uh, due, through uh, a Ghanaian uh, bank. And we are also in touch with the Ghanaian authority, you know, the Exim Bank, the, the, the Bank of uh, Ghana, and uh, we can find a way to, how to help you. How easy. Thank you so much. I'm sure our viewers didn't know. So remember, if you are a Ghanaian company, you want to go to France, contact the Chamber of Commerce, France, Ghana, here in Accra. And if you are a Ghanaian company wanting to thrive here in Ghana and you need funds, you need support, then contact AFD Proparco. All the contacts are on the website of the French Embassy. Thank you so much, Olivier. And we will be back soon for the quiz. Welcome back on Touch of France. We had an amazing conversation. We know everything about business. You heard that the president was in France. He's fluently French and has been doing business and worked with French businesses. So the quiz for today is what is the French expression for doing business? Is it one? Faire des affaires. Is it two? Avoir des affaires. Or is it three? Être en affaires. One, two or three. Faire des affaires. Avoir des affaires. Être en affaires. If you think you've got the right answer, you text one, two or three at 1788 on your mobile phone and you can win a dinner for two in a French restaurant in Accra, La Chaumière. So please jump on your phones and text 123 1788. What's the French for doing business? Ghana working in France, what we do with the Ghanaian companies to support you, and it's always a pleasure to do so. Let me acknowledge our dear sponsors MPS, Meridian Port Services, Decathlon, Silver Star Ghana, Air France, L'Oreal, and for this specific episode, Societe Generale, the Chamber of Commerce France Ghana the restaurant Le Tandem and La Chaumière, where we, you can have. Until then, I say au revoir, goodbye, à très vite, see you very soon. Thank you so much, bye. What is the word in French to say to party? Fete. Hello. Salut. Marche. Bonjour. Aiko. Aiko. Merci beaucoup. It was revealing. What kind of image did you have of France? It's always the Eiffel Tower. It was educative. Men, especially in France actually, they all think pampering is for ladies. It is actually a men's thing. It was inspiring. I'm a true artist. I believe in my creative work. Regardless of whatever that comes with the limitations and people can understand you, I still feel like if emotions are in it, people can connect to it. It was fun and entertaining. How would you say, hello, my name is Paula Ray and I'm a TV presenter. Hello, mon nom Bola Ray, tele presenter today. We're doing Chinese right now. <laughs> <laughs> you like season one? You will love season two. Touch of France TV show, coming soon.